Hi, my name is Natalie and I am the minister at Thomas Hill West Baptist Church. When thinking about giving up superiority, the way that we humans are constantly measuring ourselves and comparing ourselves to one another springs to mind. And as Christians, we would say that in the world, people are always measuring themselves by external things, as if these things never happen in church. But is that really true? Are we so different from the disciples who sat around the table with Jesus at the Last Supper and argued amongst themselves about who was the greatest? I've worked in many soup kitchens over the years and I've seen attitudes of we are the ones blessing you and you need to be grateful and behave. And there have been times when distinctions are made between those who deserve the help and those who don't, maybe because they're struggling with an addiction or maybe because their mental health is difficult, which makes their behaviour hard to handle sometimes. Now, all of these attitudes speak of a sense of superiority. So what is it for us? Is it high numbers in church? Is it leading a particularly slick and blessed worship set? Maybe it's feeling as though we have all the answers. Maybe it's feeling right as though we are right in our beliefs or we are right in our theology that makes us feel a sense of superiority. Now, if anyone had the right to feel superior, it was Jesus. And yet he did not treat people this way. A good example of this is his encounter with the Samaritan woman at the well. There are different ways of thinking about this woman, but when we hear Jesus speak of her having five husbands, it's easy to jump to a conclusion about her. And we tend to think that Jesus is seeing her the same way as us. And we can layer on an accusing tone to his voice. But is that really what's happening here? How she walks away at the end, wanting to tell people about who she's met and what he said, speaks of the fact that this was an encouraging and a life-giving conversation. How different would that have been if he had asserted his superiority over her? What he did was speak to her as a person with dignity and respect, as one who is a child of God, who bears the image of God, and of one of who is invited into the life-giving ways that he has to offer. May we follow the example of Jesus, our servant king, who is humble and gentle in his ways. May we be willing to listen and learn and receive from others. May we give up seeking superiority and instead offer all those who are forgotten and rejected an encounter with people who can love them, with a God who loves them as they are and wants to invite them in to his life-giving ways. May we be those people. Amen.